Man, my hair looks crazy. Just got back from the gym, so that is why. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I promised one of you a video last weekend, and I just was not in the right headspace to do it. I had had a pretty horrible week at work, uh, and so I just was like, oh, I can't, I can't. So I didn't. But I am done with my pity party. I am now moving forward, and so I thought I'd give you a quick update. So a few weeks ago, you guys probably noticed that I took down all the beach body stuff, and I wanted to explain that a little bit. It's not because I don't like beach body. Uh, I actually really like beach body. It works really well. Their products are great. Their programs are great. But I just could not afford to sustain it anymore. I'm not a salesperson. I do this every once in a while where I think I'm going to sell something. I can't. I'm just not a salesperson. I don't like pushing stuff on people. Um, and I'm not, I'm, uh, let me backtrack. I'm not bashing salespeople. I think it's a talent and I don't have it. So um, that's that. I'm also not doing 21 day fix. And that is because I, my weight loss stalled for a t an entire month. I didn't lose any weight. And so I realized that I really had to change something up. And so I hit the internet and did a lot of research and, um, Thinking about the ailments that I deal with in my body, I decided that I would try the keto diet, which is what I am currently doing. And I've had some fairly good success with it. Um, it definitely jump-started my weight loss again. In fact, a couple days ago when I weighed in, I was 204.9, um, basically 205 pounds, which I don't know how much down that is from the last time I checked in with you guys, but I know that it is definitely down. Um, I am also going to the gym five times a week, um, doing cardio and weightlifting, which I, to me is extremely important because number one, cardio for my heart and then weightlifting because I, you know, I'm a 45 year old woman and I want to be strong and I, and I know that as I get older, my muscles, um, will definitely deteriorate. And so I'm going to do whatever I can to stop that from happening. So currently that is what I am doing. I will say though, this week my weight loss has stalled again. I'm not ready to change my diet yet, but I'm definitely researching carb cycling because I think maybe that's something I'm going to introduce, not only for weight loss, but I've also heard that it's good for hormone balance for women. So I may be doing that. And that doesn't mean um, ice cream night. It just means um, introducing some carbs into one or two of my meals every few days. Um, I've already done the whole let's have a cheat meal. And then the cheat meal ends up being um, a cheat feast. And I realized that I, I cannot do that because carbs are a trigger for me. So I have to be very, very intentional when I do add carbs in. Um, let's see. I think that's probably about it. Um, I have not measured lately, so I can't tell you guys how many, um, inches I've lost. I measure once a month because it's a pain. So, um, I will definitely update you guys on my measurements, um, when I measure in, sorry, my phone did a weird thing. When I measure in March, I will definitely give you guys an update. Um, and I'm sorry that I haven't been doing videos, but I'm really, really, really concentrating on myself right now and concentrating on meeting my goals for 2017. Um, I cannot tell you how many times I have made weight loss goals and I last a month and then I just quit. And so this year, my major, major focus is to remain focused on myself. Sounds so selfish, but I'm doing it for my family. Um, and I also, I guess I'm kind of doing it for you guys because I want to be an encouragement to you guys that it is okay to focus on yourself uh, when it comes to your um, health and your wellness. So, all right, guys, I don't want to talk too long. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Thank you for understanding uh, my lack of uh, interaction. And have a lovely week, you guys. Bye.